Hey guys, in this episode, I'm going to talk about role based authorization in your Blazor server application. So, for demo, I'm going to use Bookstore application that we have been working on. And uh, in Bookstore's application, we have this page authors where people who are logging into the system they can edit and delete authors from the system. So, what I would like to do if a user who's logging into the system has published a role, they should be able to see these links so that only they can delete and edit authors from the system and not others who have any other role than publishers. So we have uh, two users, one is Philip Kramer and other is John Smith. John Smith is a shopkeeper and he should not be able to see this links and so that they won't be able to, John Smith won't be able to update um, uh, edit or delete authors from the system whereas Philip will see the links and he will be able to edit and delete authors from the system. Let's look at the code. So in the API side of the code I have given myself a heads up. I have created a table, a role table who has only two, which has only two fields and if we see the data then you can see that I've listed down all the roles that I need for my bookstores. I have shopkeeper, publisher, CEO, editors, designers, all that I need for my bookstore application. And I've mapped this table with my users table, which has foreign key role ID, so that my user is one-to-one -one mapped to my role, uh, role table. So for this system, I just need one-to-one -one mapping, but you can totally have another table use a roles table and have one to many relationship with the role so that one user can have multiple roles. So whenever user logs in, I am including roles information and sending it back to the user. Um, so our Philip Kramer is a publisher and John Smith is a shopkeeper and this is the information which is getting sent back to the client. So let's look at the client side of it. Um, on client side, on login component, uh, when we validate user, we call login async from our user service, which calls our API, and it returns roles information in my return user. Now, we used custom authentication state provider class to tell our Pleaser application that user is signed in or not. To enable authentication, we use authentication state provider. So, and in state provider, we had two functions. One is mark user as authenticated and mark user as logged out. So this is how you're telling our application that whenever user authenticates and logs out of the system, where we are storing, you know, the access token and refresh token and getting claims identity. And then the identity we added to claims principle and claims principle gives you user which um, authentication state which will tell which will uh, tell our blazer server application notify our uh, blazer server application that you know user has been logged in or logged out depending on what's the claim, claim principle so for getting the claims identity in this function we created um we created a claims type of name and we assigned user uh, user email address here so to let our Blazor server application know the role of this uh, role of this user who's logging in, the only thing that you need to do is you just have to tell um, your claims identity to add another claim of uh, claims type of claims type um, role, and then we will uh, assign the role that has been passed from our API. Sweet, this is the only thing that you need to do when you get claims identity in your custom authentication state provider. Now let's go to our index page where we have uh, this message, welcome user, and if you're signed out, then we will show this your signed out uh, string. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste here and say that, I'm gonna say that if your role, if your role is a publisher, if your role is publisher, 
then only you will be able to see this string which will say that um, which is a bold string and say that you are a publisher you are a publisher and if you are not a publisher then I if you're not authorized then I'm gonna say that you are not a publisher sweet let's run this and see if how does these components behave uh, after I log in with John Smith and with Philip Kramer so I'm gonna kick this off So I'm going to log in with John Smith, who is not a publisher. He's a shopkeeper. So when I log in, you can see that you are not a publisher, John Smith. And if I log in with Philip Kramer, who is a publisher, and then you can see that you are a publisher links. So this is how you can manipulate your components on, uh, on your Razer UI and tell your Blazor application to show which component, which part of UI, depending on the role of the user. So let's let's go to our main application here, main uh, demo that we need to do. We need to enable these links to only publishers and not show these links to John Smith, who's not a publisher. To do that, I'm gonna go to my authors, um, authors page here. And the only thing that you need to do, you need to say that um, um, authorize view and if you're authorized then only you can see the header which is actions I'm gonna cut it from there and put it here and you need to be uh, your role need to be publisher you don't need to be publisher publisher in order to log in uh, in order to see this header and same thing that i will have to do I will have to do for the link. So this is where I'm showing edit and delete links. So I'm going to copy that piece of code, put it here and cut these links and put it in action. Put it in action. Sweet. So this is the only change that I have to do in order to show these links to only publisher. Let's see if this works or not. So Philip Kramer is a publisher who is already logged in. If I go to my authors page, you can see these links. If I log out and log back in with John Smith, who's a shopkeeper, and if I go to the uh, page authors page, you can see that now those links are not being shown on the screen. So you can like you can manipulate the UI components depending on who is logging into the system. What if I would like to show this page only to publisher and if anyone else is trying to you know get to this page then i would like to show not authorized what if you can um if what if i would like to put the authorization tag to whole component whole page in my blazor server application to do that uh, i'm going to go to my publisher component and the only thing that you need to do is tell that uh, this uh, component this whole component has an um, need to be authorized and they need to have a um, publisher role in order to see this component in order to see this component so the role of the user who's logging into the system should be publisher otherwise they should not be able to see this page so I kick this off and John Smith is logged in who is not a publisher if I go to the page you can see that it's not he's not authorized to see any information if I log back in with my Philip uh, Philip Kramer user ID and password who is a publisher and if I see go to the publisher page you can see publisher information and you can do everything uh, related to publisher uh, publisher page so this is how you can uh, integrate role based authorization in your Blazor application in my next episode, I'm going to try and cover claims based uh, authorization. So stay tuned. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.